everyone, I'm Brock with PDQ. Today I'm gonna to show you how to turn on remote devices using PDQ Connect, okay? And essentially we're gonna be using Wake on LAN, but we're gonna be creating our own magic packets with PowerShell that will then deploy with PDQ Connect, all right? So Wake on LAN's been around a long time, but there's three main things that you need to make sure are configured correctly in order to get it to work, all right? The first is gonna be your BIOS. You wanna make sure that you have Wake on LAN turned on in your BIOS. If you need help figuring that out, you'll need to reach out to your hardware manufacturer to see where that setting is. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that it is turned on on your network card. Okay, and I'll show you what that looks like really quick. So if we open up Device Manager here, we can scroll down to our network adapters. I'll go into my Intel adapter right here, go to Properties, you're gonna to wanna to click this advanced tab and then we'll scroll down and you'll see wake on magic packet right there. You'll wanna make sure that's enabled. Lastly, you're gonna to wanna to talk to your network guy if you're not already your network guy and make sure that wake on LAN is enabled to work on your network, all right? So those are the three main hurdles that you'll wanna make sure are out of the way before you attempt this process. All right, now that we've talked about that, let's dive into PDQ Connect and see what that looks like. All right, so here we are on our uh, devices page in PDQ Connect. And you can see over here, we've got Aang that appears to be sleeping on the job, okay? I'm fine sleeping on the job, but I don't like my computer sleeping on the job. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Packages, and then we're gonna cl click Create Package right here. Okay, we'll give this a name. This is gonna be our Wake on LAN package. And then we're gonna click the drop down next to add install step, and we're gonna add a script step, and we're gonna get our PowerShell script, okay? Let me pull up VS Code here. Now this is gonna be the script that we're gonna be deploying. So go ahead and pause the video if you need, copy this down. I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna paste that into our PowerShell console right there. All right, so here's the main thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have configured correctly for this script to work. You're gonna to wanna to get the MAC address of the target device, and you're gonna to wanna to replace that right there for that variable, okay? Now, once you've got that in there, we're gonna go ahead and give that a save, and now we're gonna go ahead and deploy it. Okay, deploy package, look for it, wake on LAN. Now, you might be thinking, oh, we're gonna deploy this to Aang. We're not gonna deploy it to Aang because since he's in an offline state, he's not gonna receive that deployment. Instead, we're gonna target another computer that's on the same network that can then send that magic packet across the network, okay? So we're gonna send this to Katara and we'll hit deploy, okay? So she's gonna receive that, that wake on land script and she's, it, it's basically gonna tell that computer to send out a magic packet across the network that she's on with that MAC address, which is targeting Aang, okay? And if we look down here, Aang is already back online. It literally took seconds, um, and, but that's really it. So whenever you want to deploy this package, whenever you've got an offline computer, as long as it's got other computers on the same network, all you need to do is get that MAC address number, put it onto that script, save it, and then deploy it to a computer on that same network. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more PDQ content. If you got any questions, hit us up down in the comments down below or feel free to join our Discord server. For PDQ, I'm Brock. Thanks for watching.